Hello everyone. In this part of our organic chemistry discussion, we will go through an electron displacement effect called inductive effect. Electron displacement effects are effects in which electrons move from one part of the molecule to another part or one molecule, one atom to another atom through chemical bonds like this. These are atoms bonded together and suddenly due to some reason electrons, electron pairs possessed by this atom now move along the chemical bond, along the bonding through across the neighboring atoms to reach another position entirely different from its original position. And what is the consequences? This causes polarization in molecule. For example, this atom which possesses this electron pair originally become positively charged because it loses electron pair and on the other hand the other atom which newly possesses this electron pair become negatively charged. Thus in the molecule a kind of polarization is created and such electron displacements are responsible for chemical reactivity and certain inertness of molecules. There are four types of electron displacement effects that we will discuss soon. Inductive effect, electromeric effect, hyperconjugation and resonance effect. Among which we will see in this session exclusively inductive effect. Inductive effect is a permanent displacement of shared electron pair in a carbon chain towards more electronegative atom or group. That is a permanent effect and the displacement of shared electron pair occurs along the carbon chain and the electrons are displaced towards a more electronegative atom or group. It operates in sigma bonds only. That is very important about inductive effect that operates or that works only in sigma bonds. That is only sigma bonds, movement of sigma bonds are considered in inductive effect and only partial displacement occurs like this. Suppose here your carbon is attached to a more electronegative atom, let's say X, in, through a bonded pair of electrons and due to inductive effect of the atom X, X drags the bonded pair of electron towards it to create a polarization that is X becomes slightly negatively, char negatively charged and the carbon atom becomes slightly positively charged. But this is the polarization is only partial in nature. The electron pairs are not completely moving on to X but their position they are displaced towards X. That is the idea. And it is transmitted, the inductive effect due to X, the atom X can be transmitted along the chain like this. Here X pulls the electron pairs, the bonded electron pairs from the first carbon so that the first carbon becomes slightly positive and the X becomes slightly negative now. And now if you look at this first and second carbons, now Due to the presence, due to the inductive effect of X, carbon is having certain tendency to attract the bonded electron pair with the next carbon. This happens and the second carbon becomes less, even slightly positively charged. And this operates along the bond. Like as you move away from this group X or the atom X, you can see the strength of the inductive effect decreases but it is transmitted along the chain and the strength decreases or the effect decreases along the chain away from the atom which caused the inductive effect. And there are two types of atoms or groups, there are two types of effect. Two types of group like he, as this two monkeys one is pulling and one is pushing. So some of the atoms or groups are able to pull the electron pairs towards it and some other are able to push the electron pairs away from it. Based on that there are two types of inductive effect plus if plus i effect and minus i effect. Here this electron this monkey or our group is pushing the electron pairs away from it. That is they are electron releasing group. They release the electron pairs away from them. And that is why this is uh, called plus I effect. And those atoms or groups which are causing plus I effect are less electronegative than the carbon atom. On the other hand, 
This monkey is pulling the electron pair towards it. That is, it is an electron withdrawing group. It withdraws the electron from its neighbor. So, this is called a minus I effect. And this minus I effect inducing atoms or groups are more electronegative than carbon atoms. Okay, now we will see some different atoms and groups which impart plus I and minus I effects. Here, this bond between carbon and a Z atom, the Z atom is this kind of monkey that it pushes the electron pair away from it so that the Z becomes slightly positively charged and the carbon becomes slightly negatively charged. Alkyl groups, trialkyl and dialkyl, monoalkyl groups are examples for plus I imparting groups. And their plus I effect, the strength of the effect decreases in this direction. On the other hand, this monkey, this, the second monkey is pulling the electron pair towards it. Like here, the atom X is imparting minus I effect, pulling the bonded pair of electron towards it to ha have a slightly negative charge. And the carbon, the binding partner becomes slightly positively charged. And some of the examples are nitro group, cyanogroup, group, carboxylic, fluorine, chlorine, iodine, bromine, phenyl group and hydroxyl groups. And their plus, sorry, minus I effect, the negative inductive effect increases in this direction. Now let's see some of the applications of inductive effect. We can explain a number of structural features on the basis of inductive effect and one of the most important one we will discuss here organic acid the strength of organic acids and bases obviously so here let's see how the inductive effect the idea helps us to predict the strength of relative strength of organic acids organic acids are acids because they can give out their proton to form a carboxylate anion and now let's see the effect of substituents on this acidic nature of organic acids. Let's consider these three acids, the formic acid, acetic acid and propanoic acid. Here, in order to compare the three structures, the acidic strength of the three structures, what we need to have is, here, if you compare the structure, the first and second structures, you can see there is additionally a methyl group. And for the third structure, there are two methyl groups on it. We know methyl groups are imparting plus I effect, the positive inductive effect and, and this number of methyl groups increases as we go down in the structures and that means the magnitude or the strength of plus I effect also increases from the first compound to the third compound. And as there are more plus I group, more methyl group, the electron density, the methyl groups being the electron releasing groups, they release electron pairs, the electron pairs are displaced away from the methyl group and the oxygen, that is the carboxylate oxygen become more electron rich. That is the electron charge, the negative charge accumulate on this oxygen here. That is why the carboxylate anion here will become destabilized because as there are more charges accumulating on the anion, the species will become destabilized. Therefore, the tendency of the species to form the anion, that is to undergo deprotonation, will decrease if you have more and more methyl groups. Okay, so the, the, where there is more methyl groups present, it will be less acidic because it does not want to form unstable carboxylate anion. The carboxylate anion become unstable because of the presence of the methyl group, the plus I effect, the electron releasing effect. So acidic strength increases in this direction. There is the dimethyl compound is least acidic whereas the formic acid is the most acidic among the three. Now let's consider substitution with negative inductive effect, minus I effect. Considering these three compounds, acetic acid, chloroacetic acid and dichloroacetic acid, we can see that in the second and third compound there are chlorine atoms. Comparatively the third compound, dichloroacetic acid has more chlorine atoms than the previous one. So 
this chlorines are imparting minus i effect that is they are electron withdrawing groups as we go down in the structures we can see the number of chlorine atom increases that means the negative i the minus i effect increases so the electron density on the anionic oxygen decreases because the minus i chlorine is withdrawing electrons from the neighbor so the oxygen atom the electron density present on this oxygen is distributed throughout this carbon and chlorine so the electron density on oxygen will become less that is they get stabilized therefore where there are higher chlorines the at the molecule has higher tendency to form the they are more acidic so acid strength increases if you have more and more minus i group we will see now another case of distancing of i effect group like inductive effect group in this example you have got in this two examples in the first example you have got chlorine placed very close to the carboxylic group whereas in the second one chlorine is placed farther from the carboxylic group as we have seen as the distance increases the effect decreases so we can expect the minus i effect to be stronger for the first compound than the lat the second one so as we move the distance increases means the effect decreases so in the second compound you have got a less intense effect than the first compound so the second compound chlorine withdraws its electron in a less magnitude than in the first case so the negative charge or the charge on this oxygen is more stabilized in the first case where chlorine is neighborly placed whereas the charge on this oxygen is less stabilized because chlorine is placed far away from it that is why the acidity decreases or increases in this order okay now let's see how to predict the basicity of organic bases organic bases are basic because they have a tendency to accept electrons to form protonated species like ions here they are basic especially when you have groups like amino group they are basic because nitrogen has got lone pair of electrons and let's explain the effect of substituents on the basicity of organic bases considering ammonia methyl amine dimethyl amine and trimethyl amine as you move down you can see the number of methyl groups increases the plus i effect increases down so as you go down the plus i effect increases and hence electron density accumulates on nitrogen because the methyl group are electron releasing groups they gives out electron away from it that is the neighboring nitrogen become electron rich and where there is more number of methyl group the nitrogen become more electron rich so as the electron density accumulate on nitrogen in the very last case you can say nitrogen is readily able to lose its lone pair of electron because it is highly charged now so in the very last case nitrogen easily loses its lone pair of electron so it become highly basic in comparison to the previous or upper structures so basicity increases downward in this examples so with that we can close the session of inductive effect discussion and in the next session we will we will discuss electromeric effect until then bye